This month's uh, tip is called Layer Clipping Groups. I'm going to launch into Bridge here to bring up the folder called Clipping Groups. And within Clipping Groups I have a series of images here that I would like the image to clip to the information on the Australian landmass here. So this reminds me that at this point I'll announce that uh, the Digital Photographic Journey to Australia starts on November 8th and we currently have had some news from Qantas that the uh, annual uh, travel sale is on and there's some great fares to Australia so check the website and uh, on the update to the workshop and um, talk with uh, us about uh, potential travel plans for Australia November 8th through 18th gonna be a great trip okay so let's launch into these two images here I'm gonna launch with the map of Australia and then I'm going to hold the shift key down and select the rocks as well. I'm going to go to option O for open or double click and that will bring up the two images in Photoshop and then leave bridge behind. First thing I'd like to do is I'd like to separate out the Australian landmass from the blue. An easy way to do that is to use the magic wand but another selection tool is color range and if we have close colors that are together what we can do is we can click on the area and move the fuzziness control all the way to the right and say OK. Now what that does is it gives me the uh, selection of the content of blue and my actual selection needs to be the Australian landmass so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the select menu and say inverse and so now from there I'm going to move to the layer menu and say new layer via copy. So what that new layer via copy has done is selected the content of the information and placed it on a new layer with areas of transparency. So in the clipping groups feature we need the area of transparency to work for us. So in this case here what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the rocks document here give myself a little room and I'm going to take the background of the rocks document I'm going to hold the shift key down as I drag and drop it onto the Australian document and let go now you can see that I've got three separate layers I have the background layer I have the landmass layer and then I have the rock content layer now this is really easy. We're going to hold down the option key and as we move between the two layers, notice over here if we move between the new two layers when we get the double circle all we need to do is click the mouse and you'll note that the information is clipped to the underlying layer. So here's how it works. If I turn off the background layer you'll note that I've got this area of transparency here. So the area of transparency is preserved and as we click on and off the option, option click on the double circle, it clips the landmass to the rocks information. So I can turn it on and we can take a peek. That's layer clipping groups.